What's going on YouTube? My job gave me this hat today, right? And when I put this hat on, I'm like, okay, it was cool. But then I noticed something about this hat. If I turn the hat backwards, don't it look like Mr. Eddie Long's wig? <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just being serious though. It was just a dog. Anyway, today this video that you about to see is going to explain itself, so I don't need to really get into details about that. Okay. And frustration from dozens of Clayton County parents who say their children are going hungry tonight after their food stamps were suddenly cut off. Fox News Justin Gray is at the live desk with the story that is all new tonight on The Edge. Justin. Tom, state officials admit to me tonight that something went wrong down in Clayton County at the office that administers food stamps and Medicaid, but they're still not sure what. Parents tell me tonight they can't buy food without those food stamps. Food stamp card ain't got number 17 cents on it. She better make that 17 cent stretch. Terry Clark says she stood in line for more than six hours at Clayton County's Human Services office because food stamp help for her six children unexpectedly ended. There's no telling my kids that we can't eat. I'm not taking no because my babies don't deserve that. Nobody kids should go hungry down here in Georgia. State officials say this office was overwhelmed today with dozens of families facing a similar problem. The food stamps just not. Me and my kids, they haven't ate since this morning. So and I was supposed to get my food stamps yesterday and I didn't get nothing. Getting angry. They started banging on the windows. A state spokesperson tells me what happened here today was out of the ordinary and it was unexpected, but they say they're not sure what exactly went wrong. What was the glitch that led to this mess? Our budgets have not increased. They've been actually decreased. This director admitted to me there were problems here as he tried to calm fears. And a statement, a state spokesperson says, quote, we have both state and county staff working to understand the cause of the problem today. We are working to ensure people receive their food stamps as soon as possible. I'm a cancer patient. I need these pills to survive. Okay? Candace Bennett says her cancer medications have nearly run out. And after spending all day here, her Medicaid and her food stamps are both still on hold. When are y'all going to come through? When are you going to come through? When I'm on my last pill? Or better yet, when I'm dead? And then I won't need it. State officials say that Clayton County office was closed Monday because of furloughs, and that could have contributed to the lines. They are investigating whether some sort of paperwork or computer problem might have led to some families getting their benefits cut off by mistake. Reporting at the live desk tonight, Justin Gray, Fox 5 News. All right, Justin, thanks. When will black people learn when the camera is rolling, the news media is going to try to find any little ghetto person to make black folks look bad? Now, had y'all noticed that the little kid with the little wing running around his eye, the mama with the little heart brazen and everything done, them her kids ain't eating in two days. Y'all noticed every single chance the cameraman got, he took an image of that child's eye and put it in there. Whoever, whoever you are, please take your child to get his eye fixed and stop being ghetto and making black folks look bad. Y'all took black folks back 16 damn years. Rate Comment and subscribe. I want y'all to comment and tell me how pissed you are how these black folks in Georgia made us black folks look crazier than we actually are.